Hey what's up guys, this is Jim with Modern Adventure Concepts and today we're going to do the install of the Duke Defense RBU and the Trijicon RMR. Today we're going to be installing the red dot on a Glock 17. Start off by making sure the weapon is clear. Then begin your field strip. Once you've disassembled the slide from the frame, go ahead and take your frame and put it aside. We're only going to be needing the slide for today. Next, remove the guide rod and barrel. This is so we'll have access to the front sight screw. You'll notice the sight screw is located here. Begin removing the front sight screw. If you have difficulty removing the screw, grab a pair of pliers to apply some additional torque. Next, we'll need to remove the rear sight. My preferred method is to use a sight pusher, like the one shown here. Make sure to apply some kind of non-abrasive material such as cardboard or leather to make sure you protect your finish. In addition, make sure you put it in between the sight pusher itself and the rear sight. Now we're going to install the side base. Make sure to remove the set screws prior to inserting the base into the slide's dovetail. If you're using a side pusher instead of a hammer and a punch, you're going to have to adjust the blocks on the side pusher to accommodate the taller height of the side base due to the backup irons. Once you have the side base installed, Use a feeler gauge or a ruler to make sure the sight is properly aligned with the slot. Now that you have the base mounted on the slide, install the provided set screws to make sure the base doesn't shift under recoil or operation. Now mount the RMR to the base and install the final screws. Go ahead and install the slide back on your frame and this is your finished product. As you can see, the iron sights are visible through the RMR's window, and you can co-witness the red dots in the sights. Let's take it to the range and see how it does. Hey guys, thanks for watching. In the future, I'll post up a follow-up video regarding the RMR's reliability once I put a couple hundred more rounds through it. If it's a good system, I'll probably be keeping it specifically for my Glock 17. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit the like, favorite, and subscribe button. Thanks. You didn't put your... <laughs> I didn't realize that you were going to go low. <laughs> Even though I hit record for you.